hey, let me introduce to you the perfect anime model. Just kidding, we all know there are way better looking ones. Now why did I say that? Because I generally think, technical wise, it's one of the best models you can find out there. But let's start from the beginning. I'm going to show you what you will get in this course. So this course will start with downloading Blender, how to set up Blender, and I'm going to explain in a pretty long video all the basics. So even if you're a complete beginner, if you just work your way through the first few videos, you should be fine to go and you will be able to follow everything. We are also going to use reference images. Reference images I created so I can share them with you. And so you will have the perfect reference images to follow along this course. Then we will start with creating the actual mesh. We're starting with a head. I have a pretty straightforward way. And I'm promising you, even if you have trouble making heads, I promise you this one will work for you out. Because I have a little hacky way of doing things for you in case you can't follow the normal way. And within the price of this course, some of my time is included. So if you join my Discord, the link is somewhere below. You can always write in the course uh, channel or write me directly. And I'm going to help you if you have trouble doing something. You can always just join the Discord. I would really recommend joining the community, especially if you are a beginner, because this way I learned a lot myself, joining a community and talking to them, discussing certain things. So I really, really recommend if you buy this course, go on my Discord. Now, why is this course so special? Now, first of all, of course, all the basics will be explained. So let's just take everything that's already been explained somewhere else. Let's take it for a second away. It will be in this course, but just move it aside. And we're focusing on the actual special parts of this course right now. To explain why this is so special, I want you to understand that I'm planning to create two more courses, at least two more courses, to implement this character into Unreal 4. So everything we do in this course is there to build upon later to get it into Unreal 4. All right, I want you to understand this. We are building a game character here. What you probably are most interested in is the cell shading, the anime shading. If we take a look right here, Obviously, we have great shadows going on here, and this will be a part of the video, and you will get the information for that. But you've probably already seen this cell shading somewhere before. Now, mine is a little bit special. We will have full control. We can tell the shader how much and where it's gonna shade, and all of that with full dynamic light. So here I removed everything to control my shading, and you can see how ugly it is shading, for especially the face. It's basically unusable at that point. Here we have shading control number uno, and you can already see it got way cleaner. If I now move the light, you can see how extremely clean, especially the face is. And if I move it out, you can also see how extremely nice and clean it shades in and out. But there is a level two control of everything, and we can see something changed. If I now move the light, you can see, especially down here, how the skirt, I controlled the light of the skirt a little bit. Now, everything here is pretty basic just for learning reasons, but this will apply to way more complex models as well. You can see how nicely the shadow on the bird is falling along. No control, by doing nothing, super ugly. Level 1 control, already much better. Level 2 control, pretty, pretty clean. Another special information you get is unlimited sharp outlines, yes, and that for a game character. We will have unlimited sharp outlines. That means no matter how far you zoom in, the outlines will always be sharp. If you take a look at the outlines right here on the shoulder and here on the neck of the character, if we zoom in, these outlines will never pixelate. Now I know the shadows are slightly pixelated, but this is a limitation of Blender. We cannot change that. That is simply not changeable at all. I tried long enough, it's not changeable. But if you just zoom out a little bit, it's not going to be seen anyway, like at all. Uh, so this doesn't matter for Blender renders. And in Unreal, it's not going to be pixelated at all. There we will have completely smooth shadows. So anime shading and unlimited sharp outlines. What else could there be? Well, there is more. So if I hide this head here really quick, you can take a look at the hair and you can see how this hair shader moves along with the camera. This is also a shader you will get. It's a thing I uh, set up, it's, I'm not going to show it, but you will get it. So, and I'm going to explain how to use it. You can completely customize that thing um, to your liking and it will work. Another thing you get are three, not just one, three eye shaders for different kind of eyes. 
which are really easy to set up. I'm going to show you how you use them, how you can implement them and how you can change them to easily create your own eyes for your anime character. You will get one classic eye, one semi-realistic eye and one which is kind of in between and I think just looked nice so I created it and packed it in a nice setup for us. So let's sum this up again. First of all, every information for beginners, yeah, we will include everything there from downloading Blender, installing it whatsoever. We will include modeling. So everything I do, I will properly explain so you can follow even the complete beginners. Head, body, finger, proper finger, not just sausage finger, proper finger, uh, proper toes. So no sausage toes. We're going to do some retopology. I'm going to explain to you how we are going to do the hair really in detail and then we're going to do it together. I'm going to explain to you the material editor, also really important if you want to have basically textures or colors or whatever on your model. And I'm going to explain how shading works, how normal direction works, which is also really important. So we're getting pretty into detail, but we keep it all on the surface so also beginners can follow if they try. If you are a beginner and you try, you are able to understand the basics of everything in there. I'm not going to go deep into detail with everything because I'm not the right person for that anyway. I don't know all the nitty gritty calculations and whatever. I know how things work and I'm going to give you the basics of my understanding for that as well. Then I'm going to explain to you how UV unwrapping works. Also really important. It's a very basic thing you have to understand for 3D work. You will get the anime shading. You will get unlimited outlines. You will get three different eye shaders, you will get reference images, you will get the hair shader. So there is quite a lot in this course, okay? It has its value. And like I said, you can join my Discord if you need help. I will always answer you. Maybe not if I'm sleeping or dead, but I don't think that will happen. And if I'm sleeping or dead, maybe other people are there who can help you. And as a little treat, but let me be clear, this is not going to be in this course, okay? This course only includes creating the character in Blender because this is the base we need to go on. So only creating character. Rigging animation and implementing it into Unreal 4 will be in a different course, in the next courses, okay? But as a little, little sweet at the end of this video, I'm going to show you something. It's really raw, so don't judge me on that. I just punched it in to see if it works, okay? But let's take a look here. Here I punched the character into Unreal 4. Yeah, it's not looking perfect. I didn't bother to make a proper armature for that, so it's looking really jaggy. But here is the important thing I want to show you, okay? So this is really special for those who know what's going on. Most times when creating cell shading in Unreal 4, it's either post-processing, which really is jaggy as hell and doesn't look very good. The other way is um, calculating a vector, which only allows you to use one single light, one single light. Or you can maybe calculate a bunch of them, but this is also really jaggy. But I found a way to have completely full, free dynamic light with cell shading. Let me demonstrate. So you can see we have the shading here. We have light from the left falling in from over here. Yeah. And it's falling on, on onto our model. Well, nothing too special. But the really special thing is if I just take another point light and place it here and I turn the camera, camera a little bit, you can see we have lighting here as well. I just drag this light in and it works. And now let's play a little bit. Let's move around a little bit. I'm moving and I'm moving around a little bit. You can see we have no light on there. If I move to the light closer to it, we have light on our model. If I move out of the light, we don't have light on it anymore. If I move to the next light, we have light on it. And over here, we also have the same thing, light going on. This is obviously still very raw. I just punched it in and tried to see if it works. And turned out it works. The fine adjustment I can still do later. And you will probably see a proper demo once we reach the part of implementing it into Unreal 4. Now, again, this is not in the course. In this course is only the creation of the character. But if you join my Discord and I'm going to release a next course, you can follow along. Yeah, you get my point. This is just a little sweet I wanted to give you in the end. So my point is I already know things work in Unreal 4. And maybe this first course is a great step. One, to get an anime character and grade it in a way so it can later be properly implemented into Unreal 4.